how, I guess, relaxing or relieving is it to come in and just be able to talk about football this week? You know, it's, it's good. It's, it's really good. You know, that's what we're here to do, uh, play the game of football, focus on it, uh, get those distractions out of the way. And now we've got a full week of preparation where we can just, you know, solely focus in on Texas A&M and what we need to do to get better and try to accomplish that. Hey, you just mentioned it staying on that, you know, the wrinkles that you just mentioned, the new packs. <laughs> How much of, was that of last week? Or is it, you know, is, do you, should we expect a lot of different things happening to this game? You know, it's some things that we've always had in and just not uh, ever had the opportunity to kind of get them uh, in, in the course of a game. Um, we started on them a little bit last week. It's something we've always practiced. But like I said, it's just something we haven't utilized during the, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the games. But uh, we're trying to implement a little bit of uh, different wrinkles and uh, attack people a little bit differently. And uh, we were able to kind of jumpstart on that. Sean, how beneficial was the bye week in helping you become more comfortable with your new role? You know, it's still moving really fast, uh, to tell you the truth. But uh, the open week, not having a game to prepare for the, this past Saturday was uh, was a, was a nice break, nice break, because it, like I said, that week went really fast for myself and our football team. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to kind of get my thoughts in order, uh, to have a plan in place that, uh, you know, you just didn't have to go and make decisions uh, the, the day before or the night before. You can think things out, you know, thoroughly and, and move on from there. So uh, it, it helped me uh, to a great degree. Sean, are you looking for Perry to stay in the whole game, or would you try to put in maybe Mitch or, or Nunez to shake it up a bit? You know, I'm looking for us to have the opportunity to win the football game. If it means for Perry or to stay in there and, uh, and lead our football team to the victory, then, of course, we're going to do uh, do that. Uh, you know, you've all seen Nunez and, and Connor Mitch in action, and they both bring different things to our football team, uh, whether it be a Nunez package. Uh, who, who knows? It may be more speed option with him out there. I don't know. That'll, that'll be played out during the course of the game and how it's kind of flowing. But, uh, you know, right now we're, 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 we're stable with Perry. Uh, we think he's done a good job in his last outing. And we think our team is, is kind of falling in place behind him, and they know exactly what to, to expect from him. So we're, we're pretty pleased with that. Sean, going back to the, the, the different formations you guys have been tinkering with over the last, the last week, look, watching this game like on television or from the outsider perspective, do you think another one looks markedly different perhaps than you have? Or is it going to be that cut kind of I don't, I don't know if, you, you know if you're just the average fan, you'll probably say, oh my God, I haven't seen this, I haven't seen that. But uh, you'll see a little bit more consistency. You know, at that times we would throw a uh, certain format, formation out there and and uh, maybe run two plays out of it where it was really beneficial and never get back to it. Uh, we'll probably stick with you know, some of those formations that you might not have seen in the past, uh, maybe just once or twice a game. You'll probably see more of those. Uh, you know, we're going to implement a little bit new scheme of things. We're going we're to get a little physical in practice. We're going to cut. We're going to pull a tackle, take to the ground. And uh, you know, it's not going to be the first time they see this in game type situations. So uh, whether that may be the, the, the biggest change, it may not be. But uh, I'm certainly paying close attention. Uh, I watch them out there each and every day in practice. I see them coaching and teaching. And, uh, you know, unless I see something that just needs to be changed, uh, you know, I'm going to let Coach Oak uh, kind of handle John, you've uh, obviously known college football in the Carolinas a long time. I am curious, as you went out last week and recruited and saw some of the same people, whether it's coaches, parents, players, how differently were you received? by them just in, in, in everything that's happened the last couple of weeks and, and how did you how did you handle that you know it was, <laughs> it, it was really odd and you always you know whether you're south carolina coach clemson coach you always get the looks when you show up at football games but uh well i had a lot of people that were just coming up and, and extending their hand and it didn't matter if they were they were clemson fans georgia fans south carolina fans i mean it was almost like hey we're behind you you know let's go do this you can do it and uh it, it was, just a really good feeling uh, that I encounter so many, you know, new faces with just different, just strangers just coming up to you. And I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know how this interim thing works, but uh, I can imagine a lot of places the interim head coach doesn't get treated like that. You know, it's kind of just waiting for this guy to get get out of here and let's get the next coach in. But I never got a feeling like that was uh, the case. No, he hasn't shared the, that information with me. Uh, Right now, I would say this is a pretty formal interview. I mean, it, to be honest with you, I mean, every single day I'm being interviewed, and he's watching this press conference right now, seeing, you know, how I'm handling these questions, and 
and addressing the answers.